Good evening, everybody. Um, we're very happy to talk to you about our uh, summer boot camp 2019, Special Intelligence Finance Institute. Um, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be going through um, uh, several slides. Right. So um, we're very excited to 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 talk to you about our summer book and we already spent a lot of time working on it with the uh, faculty members and with the uh, advisory board with making sure that uh, the good come has uh, all the uh, ingredients that um, finance quantitative finance specialists these days need uh, to be successful um, in your modeling endeavors the main idea is to go through the math, go through the uh, financial intuition, and go through the code, right? So this is uh, our main uh, our main goal. Let me first introduce you a little bit our organization. So the Financial Artificial Intelligence Finance Institute is uh, our mission is to be the world educator in the application of uh, artificial intelligence. The investment management, markets and risk. So it's basically uh, finance, uh, but uh, you'll see that the faculty members and the founders, uh, the advisory board members, basically people uh, working in, in, in asset management, in, in banking, in pretty much all areas of finance, right? So, and the idea is to, to, uh, uh, to, to teach and research on uh, cutting edge uh, artificial intelligence uh, and techniques. So we've put together a team of, of academics, but also practitioners to give the best education experience uh, in New York, uh, in the United States, in regards to uh, artificial intelligence machine learning tools uh, in finance. So we, we uh, we think that with the opportunity for all of us, right, uh, to some sort of innovate, uh, use, um, and take advantage of this uh, big data, uh, Internet of Things, and algorithms world, it's uh, unprecedented. So we feel very, very excited to, to, to be working on the materials, very excited to, to be teaching the materials. You'll see that we've been we have a long experience doing that. We, we were the pioneers uh, in Columbia University, NYU, uh, in Europe, right? So the founders is Michael Weinberg uh, and I. Michael Weinberg has a 25-year experience on 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 different areas of finance, basically. Uh, uh, hedge funds. Um, now he's head of hedge funds at APG, but he was previously CIO of uh, Move 37. Move 37 was uh, is right and and um, um, <clears throat> autonomous investment manager, so to speak, has long experience in Soros, uh, Credit Suisse First Boston, and so on. And he's as an MBA for Columbia Business School. In fact, Michael is also teaching at Columbia Business School. Myself, uh, my name is Mikel Noguera, I'm head of the faculty, right, uh, and um, along with Michael, right, so we put together um, AIFI, right, in the, um, currently so co-founder, and also uh, teaching at, at uh, several uh, institutions. You can see that on my LinkedIn profile, so I'm teaching at, at NYU Courant, NYU Stern, Imperial College, Isade, and I've been teaching at, at Columbia for, for, for six years. In addition to that, I've been working in the industry, uh, in banking industry, asset management in the industry for around 20 years, and I have a PhD in quantitative finance. So we had the idea of, of some sort of bringing all this knowledge uh, and, and uh, generating more knowledge, and we have with us Right, uh, we have with us a really fantastic uh, faculty. So um, we have Peter Colm. Peter Colm is, is clinical professor and director of mathematics in finance 
uh, master's program at current Institute of Mathematical Science. I think uh, he needs no introductions. Empiricom will all will will be teaching uh, on the bootcamp, uh, reinforcement learning, and other stuff. And he's been very very involved with us uh, in uh, the, the the definition and and and. and construction of the syllabus. Uh, we also have uh, Matthew Dixon. Matthew Dixon is a British applied mathematician. He's right now at UC uh, teaching uh, machine learning, computational finance, co-founder of the Thalesians, right? And, and we're, we're all, you'll see that we, we were all co-authoring books that will be published in, in the following months. Right, so Matthew is is, is also uh, working in a new book, and and you'll see he's all he's he'll be in charge of uh, teaching um, uh, some deep learning and also reinforcement learning. Uh, we have uh, Mickey Adbal. Mickey Adbal is basically our unsupervised learning um, expert, so to speak. He's associate professor at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory and uh, is basically using that to analyze past data sets and cancer genomics and immunology. So he's some sort of a, one of the, uh, 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 one of the faculty members that, that has, uh, in addition to finer, finance, other interests, which is uh, also always very uh, exciting to have. And then we have uh, Larry Rudolph, is a researcher at the MIT Computer Science and AI Laboratory. He has a PhD in Computer Science, 1981, at NYU Courant. And he's uh, uh, these days also working for Two Sigma Investments, so another person with a very, very, very long experience in computer science, AI, and, and, and finance, right? We also have with us, in, uh, as a scientific advisor, uh, Gordon Reader. Gordon Reader is a PhD in mathematical uh, physics at Harvard, and he's well known because he's been publishing recently some of the best papers in reinforcement learning, and he's teaching at the th one of the three at the three nations uh, leading uh, masters in financial engineering at Baruch College and 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 my. As an NYU, and he's published uh, several articles um, at the top industry conferences. Right. Le let me also uh, mention that we have uh, on our. Uh, let me share uh, with you also. We've been. Our advisory members, right? Yeah, the advisory members we have. Um, let me see if I can share. Yeah. Okay. So just very quickly, uh, just to 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 share with you our advisory board. So we have on our advisory board Janet Wing. Janet Wing is the uh, director of data science at DSI at Columbia. We have Peter Carr, which needs no introduction, but he's the chair of finance and risk engineering department at anyone you stand on. So in uh, helping us with the content, with the general idea generation, Armando Gonzalez is president and CEO of uh, Ravenpack, one of the leaders of big data analytics for financial institutions. We also have Hein Hundal, right, is chief scientist at Random Order. And we have Emily Spratt, who is an expert in AI, um, more used in um, art and a strategic advisor, uh, having a BA from Cornell and MA for, from UCLan Princeton and doctorate on Princeton. So we have a very uh, diverse and, and, and some sort of in, uh, uh, interesting um, advisory board. Okay. So, okay. So let's let's uh, without further ado, let's uh, discuss uh, the contents. I, th I think we you're all interested not only knowing a little bit us, but uh, 
uh, uh, maybe just before before digging into the summer bootcamp, I I, th I think what is important is that, that there's a there's a there's a lot of uh, if we look at the faculty, there's a lot of um, not only research experience, but there's a lot of we've, we've all been teaching for several years, right? Uh, these subjects, AI. Uh, big data. I myself taught the first big data in finance uh, course in the, in the United States. Peter Colm is, is obviously well known for for the MFE at NYU Courant, and Matthew is is one of the pioneers, right? And we're all right now um, teaching at the uh, MFEs uh, in New York, right? So I think uh, this is also give us some sort of very interesting background to 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 somehow create a very solid, what we think is a very solid offering, right? What we offer is these uh, very intense, right, uh, six days program. So it's from five, from 5th to 10th August, in a, so in a month, in a month time. So we'll be together uh, in New York City. Basically, uh, the place is gonna be uh, Metro Tech in Brooklyn, so NYU is uh, hosting is uh, us uh, you know, so, uh, using we can use their facilities in in Metrotech in Brooklyn. The lecture will take place from 9 to 6 p.m. So it's very very intense, 45 hours, uh, and the idea is to go through lectures to see every day uh, and work hard on uh, a lot of code. So we'll see that that it's one of the important things about uh, about the, the bootcamp is we want, it to, we want it to be very hands-on, right? So we will be coding uh, or uh, some sort of scene code uh, uh, during all the lectures. So the lectures, uh, we've been uh, putting together the lectures uh, in 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 uh, so the methodologies that we need to see, uh, the males, right, a little bit the males, uh, the financial intuition, but the code. I think, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very important, and, and all the delegates and, and our teaching experience tells us that, that we all want now very hands-on educational experiences. So that's what, we, uh, what we're trying to uh, to do so, we have. Uh, I'll show. I'll show. I'll show it a little bit. So we have uh, a lot of code, right? And then the evaluation is an exam and a project. Exam will take place uh, in after a month, and the projects will give you a couple of months, right? And um, it's somehow if you just don't want to evaluate the first year. Right, you can some sort of wait until the next year. Right, if you just don't want to be evaluated, we can give you a certificate of attendance. So it's really voluntary. Right, we but we really encourage you to to after the the, the boot camp to go through uh, uh, the materials, ask questions, uh, uh, work with the code, and so on and so forth. Right, so. The course fee, you know it, is 3295 and you have the early bird until July 5th, right? So I think it's uh, you have the opportunity to grab uh, before uh, expires this 10% discount. We think it's an it's a, it's a interesting price for, for all the materials, all the knowledge, and so on that we're putting together. And who's... who's Who's uh, the audience of this course? And we are seeing that in all the uh, uh, in all the courses we're teaching. So we've been giving se similar seminars for for the CQF folks, so Certificate of Quantitative Finance, AI and Trading Institute, uh, WBS, of course, right? And we we have we always have in the audience a mixture of obviously quantitative analysts. Some computer scientists, risk managers, traders, investment managers, and data scientists, right? So basically, we're all um, we're all morphing into data scientists these days, right? So we're all trying to make make sense of of of, uh, of more information uh, and structured data, and so on, right? And uh, 
yeah, we'll we'll uh, for the ones that for the ones that uh, have never right uh, seen Python, right? We will we will obviously the beginning the first day. Uh, the Python session is going to be uh, pretty much an introduction, an introductory Python session. So, and then you will subsequently have, as I as I mentioned, um, nine hours of of, of exercises and coding. Right. Okay. So um, let's let's discuss now a little bit more in depth. Right. Uh, what are we going to see in the course? So this is uh, this is the this this is the uh, day by day um, uh, um, content. So the first day we're going to just some some sort of discuss uh, some sort of uh, we'll, we'll give an introduction of uh, in terms of big data and finance modeling. So we'll be discussing how how we're going to how. Uh, quantitative analysts these days uh, need to put together uh, econometrics, statistical modeling, um, all we know about time series models, uh, linear factor models, and portfolio location, right? So all these, this is somehow the uh, the, uh, uh, the quantitative finance uh, menu, right? And then um, after uh, after lunch we will start. Uh, discussing uh, with George Lenzas, right, or probably Matthew Dixon, to uh, so the first um, our first deep dive on 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 big data in finance, which is the pre-processing, feature engineering, dimensionality reduction, sampling, learning and estimation, model selection. So the, this we're, we're going to start with some sort of the 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 the, the, the first. Uh, steps into big data in finance modeling, and and we'll stop at 3:35. We'll have uh, the primer on 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 Python, right? So um, uh, let, let me. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is just to share. Okay, so this is okay. 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 Give me a second. I need to run my Python. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm going to show you what we have. Uh, we have, as I said, uh, we have. Um, we have uh, ready sixteen. We already have 16, 16, uh, um, uh, 16 uh, Jupyter Notebook. Um, okay, Notebook. So we will start the first day. We already have, obviously, the, the, the sessions ready, right? So we will start the first day with a, with an introduction of what is Python, what is uh, no, uh, NumPy, SciPy, Pandas, and 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 we'll see uh, after during my talk. Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, obviously, uh, as I mentioned before, <coughs> basically Python, Scikit-Learn, uh, TensorFlow, and Keras. Right. So um, we're we're already we're discussing also with with some other software companies if they. Want to want to some sort of uh, join us, right? Like, uh, but uh, we will have uh, probably this as a surprise, right? Anyway, so we'll st we'll start with a Python basics primer with Gilberto Batres that has long experience in coding in Python and also t and also uh, teaching. And we will have our first speaker uh, on day one, which is Olga Kokareba. Olga Kokareba is a, is a, is a uh, a quant expert, uh, basically on the alternative data space, right? So, yes, as I mentioned, uh, right, it's not only about AI, obviously these days, but it's also about big data. So it's very important that the, the delegates and we we all understand what is the new context in where we're uh, all operating, hedge funds, asset managers, which is basically that that that. Um, 
as Ronald Kahn was saying, right? So Ronald Kahn was 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 saying, uh, uh, I think, a couple of months ago that that uh, basically finance these days is about big data, right? So we will have uh, Olga Kokareva uh, discussing these issues uh, with us, uh, right? So it's going to be a first, uh, a, a very intense first day. The second day we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start with the. Uh, supervised learning. So here you have a list of uh, algorithms that we're going to be discussing. So we're going to be some sort of deep diving on on uh, the, what we think are the most important algorithms uh, in, in finance, right? It's obviously, uh, we will discuss first the supervised learning general framework. So the idea that, that we need to minimize the loss function. Uh, we'll also discuss regularization functions. Uh, in in all in everything we we we, we show we're going to be discussing regularization, right? Uh, which is a very interesting uh, shrinking technique. So we'll see logistics and self mass regression, key nearest classification and regression trees, and uh, super vector machines, linear discriminant analysis. So we're going to be seeing during the morning. So the, the most interesting, uh, some sort of uh, standalone classification algorithms, right? After lunch, we'll start uh, with a very, very interesting uh, uh, piece, which is, uh, well, what is winning all the Kaggle competitions these days is, um, uh, is uh, what's, let me see, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, we see just a second yeah. okay I'm we're good okay so I was saying so uh, we will be discussing ensemble models right so and and we will be discussing in depth other boost XG boost so some some, some sort of the uh, what we're what are clearly the most uh, exciting um, techniques uh, these days, right? On on um, on uh, uh, the uh, ensemble space, right? So it's basically XGBoost is winning all the Kaggle competitions. XGBoost can be used to do stock picking, to do time series, uh, credit classification problems. So uh, we're going to be discussing uh, right uh, all these algorithms, right? And and, yes, and we'll spend a, a little bit of more time uh, with other boost and XG boost that again are are the winning all the Kaggle competitions. I think it's interesting. And um, after 3 p.m. we'll start with um, uh, uh, our coding, right? Which so will be focused on these classification algorithms. And uh, it's going to be focused also on boost uh, on the boosting techniques, right? And also random forest, which is the bagging techniques, right? So we're going to be uh, some sort of solidifying uh, in the um, uh, in the coding sessions uh, uh, some sort of all these algorithms. Uh, then we'll have uh, as a speaker Michael Weinberg, right? So the co one of the co-founders. Right. So as I said, Michael has a long experience on 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 with Move 37 on everything that relates to autonomous investment strategies. So he's he's seen more than 200, uh, 300 uh, hedge funds that use uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning. He's going to be sh sharing with us uh, some sort of his experience on, on that on that matter. Right. And then on day three, we'll start on regressions, right? So we'll start on regressions. We're going to be discussing um, one of the most interesting things, which is uh, how, we how we can penalize uh, the linear regressions with lasso, rich, and elastic net. Uh, we're going to be also discussing deep regressions. And after lunch, we're going to be seeing another very, very interesting topic in finance, which is and a very under-researched topic, which is um, unsupervised learning. So unsupervised learning, right, uh, as you know, is uh, when we just some sort of try to understand better the data and no questions are asked, right? So some sort of, right, we want to just some sort of unsupervisedly uh, understand better these highly dimensional spaces like the S&P 500, like, like uh, 
like, um, I don't know, credit segmentation for banks and so on. And here we will be seeing clustering, we'll be seeing uh, autoencoders, uh, we'll also be seeing, uh, which is a nonlinear PCA decomposition, we're going to be seeing PCA obviously and probabilistic models. And, and, and we will be uh, obviously, as I, as I said, every day <coughs> focusing on um, uh, and using these these uh, the notebooks that uh, that um, use these algorithms, and then we have a very uh, a very interesting speaker. We have uh, Rajesh Krishmachari, uh, which is the head of big data science for uh, Bank of America Merrill Lynch. He is also the machine learning and fi finance instructor for NYU Tandon. Right, so Rajesh is a very, very interesting speaker too. Day four, we'll start with an amazing topic, right? Another amazing topic, which is how we can um, be using uh, deep learning, so those deep nets, so the artificial neural networks with, with more than one hidden layer, right? Uh, that has been proving to be uh, very, very efficient and, and excellent for tasks like uh, image recognition, for uh, natural language processing. So we'll be discussing in depth with Larry Rudolph uh, from the MIT and Two Sigma. So we'll be discussing first uh, some sort of the general ideas. And then after lunch, we will be uh, seeing with Matthew Dixon, which is currently uh, writing a book on, on, on that matter, Right, um, we'll be discussing about the different uh, neural network architecture. So, uh, and and obviously, uh, number two, number three are very interesting ones in finance because recurrent neural networks and long short term memory networks. So, our, our neural networks meet memory that can be very useful for time series problems. Right, we will also be discussing um, convolutional neural networks that have been used very successfully in, in image recognition, but also uh, can be tricked into doing uh, time series. And we're going to be discussing generative adversarial networks, which is uh, something it's also the, of, of, of an incredible, uh, very nice idea that we're, we're still all figuring out how we can use it in finance. A little bit of coding, and then we'll have Alexander Flies from Rebellion Research, right, uh, the very well-known speaker and also machine learning instructor in New York, right, uh, so will be with us. Uh, day five, another very, very uh, interesting topic, which is uh, reinforcement learning, right, so reinforcement learning is that uh, machine learning technique in which we want to maximize our work, and uh, we want to figure out a sequence of actions, right? Uh, so a policy that leads us to uh, maximize our reward. So reinforcement learning uh, in finance, um, it's a very, very uh, uh, interesting topic, and it's going to be taught by Peter Kolb, and uh, I'll also be teaching some, some of it, and we will also have probably... Uh, uh, Matthew Dixon talking about reinforcement learning, right? Okay, and we'll day five will probably uh, will probably be back uh, soon back home, right? Because uh, probably not. And then on day six, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be discussing uh, some sort of how we can use uh, natural language processing in finance. So, uh, as we all know. So text mining, text processing, right, is one of the, would say, areas of machine, of artificial intelligence that is most promising in finance, right, because it can help us uh, measure sentiment analysis, it can measure, uh, it can help us, right, uh, obviously answer text doing chatbots. So we've learned a lot this, so as an example, right, uh, my students at NYU um, Stern, with uh, no previous experience, a bit of uh, a very nice chatbot that was doing some sort of right and 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 so this is and we will see the two the two aspects of it. So we will we will be seeing the the traditional way to do the traditional way to do natural language processing and the deep learning way to do uh, natural language processing. So Elmo and Bert, 
basically. And we'll also be doing a little bit of uh, right uh, Python. Uh, we will be seeing with with Hubert a little bit of NLTK and so on. And this is going to be some sort of the end of it, right? So um, more things about it. So. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll share with you just a few slides that, that show what, what are we going to, what are you guys going to see uh, during the course? So we're, again, we're doing an incredible effort. We're working very, very hard, right, uh, to have the best uh, of that. So we, we're going to be. We think it's important to, to that you guys see the mathematics. Right, so it's not going to be a hugely mathematical course, but obviously we need to understand what is a super vector machine, what is the mathematical theory behind XGBoost, uh, what are artificial deep artificial neural networks, what is the financial intuition, and then tons of code, right? So and and as I said, uh, we're going to be. Uh, you're going to be learning or you're going to be using Python or you're going to be using scikit-learn and for the uh, deep learning part uh, we're going to be using TensorFlow and Keras. Okay, in addition to that and it's not here for XGBoost we're going to be using the XGBoost package. Right? So this is basically all is open source and um, yeah, uh, we'll see. I, I have some coding examples here, right? So in the slides, right? So you'll see the nice thing. So the good thing about uh, so wh why why it's a good idea to take a six day course in finance and why is that reachable without uh, some sort of a pre, pre, some sort of a, a very strong computational. Uh, background is because you can see here we produce here some sort of a, a, a convolutional neural network right with three with uh, five layers right uh, and you see it's some sort of 15 lines of code okay so the good thing about uh, some of the models that we're going to be seeing is that TensorFlow, Keras and Python makes makes our lives obviously Right, much easier. Here's a deep neural network, right? Uh, and this is basically the code uh, just to produce it, right? Uh, okay, and here and to train the, the with using grid in grid in the sense we're going to be also be discussing uh, training of neural networks uh, in in depth. Okay, so this is just a, and again I promise that you'll have uh, all the code, right? So this is. Uh, so this means that that we will have a notebook every day. We'll produce a notebook. You know, you will have access to a notebook that you can run on 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 Jupyter and call up, right? And it's uh, some some sort of. Uh, and then we're going to be discussing uh, user cases. So we're also working on notebooks that uh, that uh, produce uh, right uh, some user cases. I know I know some some. Um, obviously, uh, delegates are, are are asking us right uh, often, right? Uh, yeah, but is this so, so? Where are we going? Where, where, where can we use all this stuff, right? And the answer is ev uh, anywhere, right? So it's stock picking uh, for multi-asset portfolios, risk management portfolios, insurance, uh, obviously big data in banking, trading, high frequency. So. And 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 I put together some of the slides so that uh, this is uh, right something that so this is model data analytics so this this is why why we all need to to gather uh, these AI skill set it's basically it's because basically it's not only about numbers it's obviously about numbers but it's also about documents so it's also about um, uh, socially banned news media, IoT, and stuff. So we're going to also be uh, needing to. to um, this is uh, some sort of a, uh, a slide in which we put together everything that we think it's needed to do financial engineering these days, right? And and it goes from obviously traditional econometrics, fundamental finance, machine learning, artificial intelligence, in order to some sort of put together portfolios or measure risk 
uh, and so on and so forth, right? So uh, this is the menu of machine learning that we're going to be seeing. So I'm, I'm sure all of you are, are already familiar with uh, with what machine learning represents, but this is basically the menu that we're going to see, supervised learning and supervised learning, reinforcement learning, right? Uh, on supervised learning, it can be predictive or descriptive, right? And it can be a regression if we, if we want some sort of, um, uh, given the inputs and the outputs to figure out the regression function. So we want to uh, go from Rn to R, so real number. If you want to learn a class function, that is a classification problem. And then, uh, as I mentioned before, and, so, and supervised learning is basically right, some sort of, we want to figure out more things about the data, so we're not asking questions right, explicitly. So clustering, for example, is trying to learn class functions. So it's, 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 it's trying to learn how uh, or we can go from Rn to the k dimensions, right, that are these clusters, right? So, and, 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 and this is basically also something that uh, uh, can be done using representation learning. So uh, as I said, unsupervised learning is a very, very interesting topic. Right, not only in finance, and, and, and I'm sure Mickey Atbal is going to be very valuable here. And, and as I mentioned before, reinforcement learning is about learning policies, right? So given a, 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 given a, a set of uh, Xs, the inputs, right? And we define a reward function, these are Is, right? We need to some sort of figure out the sequence of A's, right? So A, uh, we're going to figure out the policy function. So we, you know that some of the, the most important, uh, uh, some of the most important uh, breakthroughs in artificial intelligence has been uh, some sort of deep mind and, and, uh, and uh, reinforcement learning. So, so everybody in finance is very interested to, to, to try, and we're doing a lot of research, right, to... to, to. And uh, another very interesting idea is this idea that in, in, for some tasks, we just don't know about the reward function, right? So we don't know these A's, so these R's, sorry. So we don't know exactly what these R's might be, Right, so these R's is, is, is the question we ask, right? Um, or, or the agent, what is trying to maximize? Sometimes it's easy to define what the agent is trying to maximize. Something, sometimes it's not well defined. But we can go and, 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 and inspect several examples, uh, millions of examples, and then figure out what could be, right? The, the reward function. So we're doing inverse reinforcement learning. If we look at now at the user cases of this stuff, right? So see here the list of things that we can do using these different techniques. So it's basically, uh, and the question is the, the, the opposite. So why, why, what are the things that we cannot, that cannot be done? So it's pretty much uh, machine learning that are basically regressions, nonlinear regressions, and so on and so forth, right? So it can be uh, basically helpful pretty much everywhere from earnings prediction, returns prediction, algo trading, Craig losses. Okay, and classification problems might be Craig rating, sustainable development goal scores, picking, fraud, AML, unsupervised. So we, we don't have a question. We, 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 we some sort of ask non-parametric questions to, to the data set. And it's, we use that to do customer segmentation, stock classification, and also regimes and so on. And then um, unsupervised is especially interesting when, when we just don't, some sort of don't know what is the policy, what is the data generating process behind a, 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 some sort of a, a particular task that we're trying to perform. All this, uh, which, which is very exciting, Right, um, there's a there's a huge caveat that that we all that, that that we will also learn uh, during the six days, which is basically that um, we uh, in many areas of finance we will be operating in a in a high noise to signal environments, right? So we also need to learn uh, how to operate right so how to use this in financial markets in which uh, we know the the noise is is, is, is very important 
and we might have non-stationarity. So we will also be discussing how to deal with these issues, these issues, all these issues here. So here we have a, a comprehensive list of algorithms that we're going to be seeing during the course, right? So uh, I think 45 hours uh, will have enough time to some sort of uh, have a, it, there are many more, right? So, but uh, but these are the families that we think are are more important uh, to solve finance tasks, right? Uh, we've already mentioned that during the uh, so we're going to be seeing uh, in classification, classification regression trees, near neighbors, vector machines, and so on. In regression, we're going to be focusing linear regressions and and how we improve these these linear regressions with. Uh, uh, with uh, last rich and elastic net uh, and supervised class and, and clustering, we're going to be seeing k-means, PCA, and so on. And then uh, we're going to be spending time on 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 deep learning, right? Uh, right on day four. Um, things that that we all obviously going to see during these days. So 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 it's basically also some sort of multi so, so the traditional. Uh, so to speak, uh, time series uh, theory, which we some sort of all know uh, about bar maps, about bar max, vector regression moving averages, exogenous inputs, right? And we're going to be discussing how we can extend uh, these multivariate time series using long short term memory networks, uh, using recurrent neural networks, using convolutional neural networks. See this, see these are options that allow us to some sort of extend, right, uh, this time series, right? So we're going to be seeing the math, right, uh, of artificial neural networks. We see here uh, an example. We're going to be seeing also the math of short-term memory networks. We'll be discussing uh, how, how can we define reinforcement learning problems. As I said, one of the most interesting aspects on artificial intelligence, so how do we need to, if we need to do value learning, model-based learning, policy gradients, so these are the things that we'll be discussing on day five with uh, uh, with myself, with uh, Peter Kolm and, 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 and Matthew Dixon, right, and, um, and I, in addition to that, as I said, as I mentioned before, uh, we're going to be some sort of uh, not only going through the maths and the intuition of the most important models, we'll also be seeing how we uh, need to be um, implementing these models using uh, Python, Scikit-Learn, uh, and TensorFlow, Keras, right? So this is, okay, so this is the what we have in the menu, right? So let's, let's uh, we go back to the beginning, right? So this is, uh, the, the main goal. So we'll put together this uh, group of, of of professors, right? Um, we've put together and and the advisory board we've put together all these syllables that we think it's uh, gonna bring you to the next level, right? In terms of AI, it's also very important, right? Uh, Net, the networking that we're going to be able to do, we're going to be spending, uh, you know, then from nine to six every day, so being able to, and and in addition to that, we're working in other, uh, in other presentations with uh, very important organizations. We still cannot announce that, but uh, we're working in 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 additional things. And then now let me open the floor for questions, right? If we can, Bobby, we can unmute, right, maybe, or if you want to, guys, right, some sort of use the chat. We're happy to answer questions. We're all, all obviously happy to answer questions, um, email, so, right. Okay, so there is one question in the chat already, uh, Mikhail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, it's, will we need to bring laptops with certain Python environments for the coding exercises of the course? Yeah. So, so basically, you can bring. Uh, I, uh, we'll send you the instructions, but it's basically Python with Anaconda, right? The Anaconda Python installation, right? 
uh, we're going to be using uh, Python notebooks that are, can also be used using Colab, right? So you could even not have uh, uh, some sort of Python anaconda, but I, I think it's it's important that we all have in our laptops uh, Python uh, the anaconda that I think. Uh, um, uh, well, well, the, the the way the way the, the coding sessions are going to be conducted is is some sort of using notebooks in which uh, Gilberto and other instructors are going to go through code and examples, right? It's, uh, it's and then we're going to give you some exercises that you can that you can uh, that you can try some sort of at home. But uh, okay, if. Uh, if someone wants to write to something uh, more hands-on, right? Uh, again, we will provide exercises that uh, then uh, and also the solutions and so on. Right. So I hope with nine hours of Python, uh, I think it's a, it's it's you you you'll you'll finish the course with strong foundations, and. Uh, in Python, you, you, in Python, obviously, in the finance context, in the big data context, that has to be also clear, right? So it's uh, basically you, um, what you, you don't need to take some sort of Python general courses. So the main, the main aspect here is that the Python big data and finance is what you need to learn uh, to apply AI in, in finance. Yeah, so you're asking, Boris, this, so I can't see the... Uh, okay, chat. Okay, now, yeah, so it will be possible to specify in other packages. Oh, yeah, 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 so... Um, uh, yeah, we'll send you, we'll, se we'll send you the, you, you'll see Python Anaconda takes it takes 10 minutes to install in your laptops and it's all set. You'll see, right? So this is, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure the first day that you all have the Python up and running, right? So, yeah, this ain't no problem. Okay. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Fine, uh, fine. Yeah. This was very helpful. Um, I just wanted to to try to clarify again with you um, what is the quantitative background that one needs to really follow the course? Because you know, as I told you, I I am an economist. Mm -hmm. I am a fundamental uh, equity right. analyst, uh, and I I understand finance and balance sheet, but but I'm not a quant person and. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so my fear is that I, it will be really hard to follow, you know, so other than the Python background that you explained to me, I'm trying, I'm just trying to understand what is the quant uh, background that one needs to have to follow the, the material. Thank you. Well, well, yeah, so, so in, in order to, in order to write some sort of, uh, uh, I, I th this is this is uh, some sort of uh, some some of the materials we we're using uh, for the course is also some of the materials that we use to train uh, to train students that are taking masters in business analytics, right? So I just gave a course on on the masters of business analytics, and 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 I would say uh, that. The level uh, that the students need to have is is uh, with CFA and 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 some sort of a refresh that we're gonna do with econometrics. Uh, then uh, it should be it should be enough, right? It should really be enough. Uh, we're not gonna go very deep on the maths, right? So no one can go very deep in the maths. Otherwise, uh, the courses would, would wouldn't be right. It would be a PhD. Uh, sort sort of course and and it's not right so uh, it's it's important that that you, some sort of you understand what it, what is this, some sort of the theory behind the super vector machine right uh, but we're not going to spend uh, a huge amount of time on on the, the mathematical theory behind 
right? So we're going to be focusing on the algorithms that have been showing some sort of more efficiency. We're going to, we're going to be training you on how to use them, right? And a little bit of mathematical intuition. So I think, I think this is what we do uh, for our, in our masters and our students are, are, are not yet, right, PhD students or, or are not yet, right, quants. They're, they're quants in the making, so to speak, right? So I think that, that uh, um, it's, the, the, you do not require a very strong quantitative background, right? And, but you will acquire it uh, uh, at least a, 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 a very good one after the course and, and, after, and going through the materials. And in addition to that, you'll be able to use the models. I think this is very well. Okay. And so can we uh, get a, uh, maybe an, um, the refresher, an, an idea of what the, the quant refresher will be and also the Python? Um, just, just so you know what, what we need to, to have. Uh, have okay, so uh, I'll do, we'll do something. We'll produce, uh, we'll produce, right, um, a couple of slide decks, okay, um, that we will be sharing with the participants uh, two weeks before, right? So, so you can, uh, you can go through the, the, some sort of the uh, prerequisites, so to speak, so to make your, your, your learning experience better when you're in New York, right? So okay. okay, it's just that, for example, regressions. I I did regressions when I was at university. I mean, I right. yeah, did an MBA, but but you know, I don't really use regression on my day-to-day -day right. work in finance in, in fundamentals. So I, you know, it's like yeah. I would need a refresh on regression so that I can follow. I guess. The, sure, the sure. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll be we'll, we'll produce we'll produce a slide deck. Uh, and we're obviously we're obviously uh, happy to help right uh, during the course and and, and before uh, if you if you have questions if you need more materials and, and it is also an invitation for the experts right so they, we always have in the audience someone that some sort of it's already very fluent on something that we're happy to provide additional references right. Uh, but if for the sake of doing the course, right, some sort of uh, uh, an interesting and yet reachable one. So we, we, we so we will we will be sticking to some sort of a traditional way of of, of teaching the uh, the algorithms, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, so I think uh, it's all clear. Uh, do not hesitate to send us emails. We try to obviously see, be, be diligent on, 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 on answering them, right? Um, uh, we also really encourage you to take it in the sense that that with, uh, when we've all started doing machine learning, uh, right, it's some sort of a new, uh, so it, it's an ambitious uh, uh, endeavor, so to speak. But you'll see that, uh, you'll see that, um, yeah, okay, reading materials, yeah, sure, sure, we'll, 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 we'll share, we'll share with you, right, uh, some, some of the reading materials, yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. Okay. We'll produce a list uh, of of reading materials right for in 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 a week or in a couple of weeks. Right. So yeah, no problem. Right. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Right. Okay. Good. So. Okay, so thanks for for joining our webinar. Just uh, right, I know it's right before the Fourth July. Uh, it's probably uh, it, it's it's an interesting thing to do on the Third July evening. So we're happy 
that you should all join and we 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 just hope to have you on board just let us know if uh, uh, all the other questions all the instructors uh, are the, the 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 members of the faculty are also available right if you have additional questions or more detailed questions about their about their pieces right so we're all happy to have uh, uh, to give you the best uh, education. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice 4th of July. <laughs>